Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing as the Ottoman Turks here in the Open Rosales 4. We just got an alliance with Austria. Why? Because they have a personal union over Denmark now. So we lost our alliance with Denmark when that union formed, but now we have an alliance back with Denmark because we allied their boss. So as soon as we have a diplomat back, we're going to declare war on the Teutonic Order, which should bring in Russia. So I hope all my allies are willing to join my uh, war effort here. I really hope they join. I really hope you join. Oh no. Nodged has left the coalition against us. So did Dundar. No one wants to be in the coalition. Everyone's leaving the coalition. All right, Teutons. Austria does not want to join the war. This is a problem. I need Austria to join this war. Well, not need, but I want them to join this war. Hmm. I might have to give the Teutons another fucking loan. God damn it. Because this Casus Belli is about to go away. Well, first and foremost, let's sell some land to our vassal here. Enjoy it, Bosnia. Enjoy your land. Ooh, yeah. What's up, Austria? Why don't you want to join my damn war? Totally should. No, he doesn't want to. Why not? What a jerk. What kind of a jerk doesn't want to join my war, you know? Oh, do we still have mercs? We might still have mercs. We do. Kill the mercs. There we go. I was wondering why we're losing money. What else do I want to do here? I want to annex Ukraine. Let's get that started. Uh, that's all of your cores, right, Ukraine? Yep, that's everything. All right, annex Ukraine. No, not declare war. <laughs> I almost hit declare war on my vassal. Wouldn't that be fun? Is there a statesman? Nope. Is there a level one advisor? Nope. Why would there ever be a level one advisor? I have a level... I have a 50-year-old advisor, but I have no level ones for admin. Damn. Oh, the well. All right, group you guys up. Uh, we'll just keep selling land to Bosnia, I guess. We're going to have to go get another Casus Belli, because if Austria is not willing to join, then what's the point? Still won't join. Maybe he's in debt or something. I don't know. That's a little disconcerting, though. Hmm. Well, you have enemy of enemy, right? Yeah, we're getting relations up. It's taking time, but we're getting relations up. Oh yeah, would you like some access? There you go. Maybe now you want to join my war? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Well, he is converting the land, just very slowly. He's not doing the best job. Silly Bosnia. Convert your lands, you little sack of shit. Alright, we'll sell you some more stuff. Oh! Janissary Palace Coup. Eventually, the Janissaries became so powerful that under the threat of mutiny, they could dictate government policy and hinder reforms aimed to modernize the army. Were they not content, they stage a palace coup and replace the current sultan. Uh, let a sultan of their choice take control, which would do what? It would give us some other random dynasty. We would have crappy tax and crappy infantry and more expensive tech and more expensive discipline until the end of the game. Ha! Oh! Either our heir dies or our king dies. No matter what happens, one of them dies. I'm okay with the king dying because he kind of sucks. Well, I don't. he doesn't suck. But the heir's better. So we'll fight them. We'll fight those 36 guys in Istanbul. No problem. Pomerania declared war on the Teutonic Order. Are you kidding me? Pomerania just declared war on the Teutonic Order. Now they're fighting Russia. Wow. Um, yeah, let me get some more derps down here. And then we'll, we'll spawn those guys. We'll fight them. No problem. Okay, Diplomat is home. Can we get Austria in? Austria still won't join my war. 
God damn it, Austria. Why won't you join my war? He must be in debt. He has to be in debt or something. It's not like they're too far away. Hmm. Alright, get the dupes home. Get the dirt the dudes home. Keep trying to say derps and dudes at the same time. Okay, Orodugu has converted. Very nice. So this is pretty much the last chance here. It's two weeks before our last um, date here. Now they still won't join. Alright, we're going to get relations up with Austria and we'll just send the Teutons another loan offer. I assume they still want a loan? They may not. I don't know. No, they do. All right, we'll just send them another loan offer. No problem. So uh, we'll do that, and then I'm sure they'll default again. So it's not really that big of a rush. It kind of felt like a rush, but I guess it's not. Here, you can have Bosnia back. You want it? Yeah, you want it. I want it. I want it willingly. Hey, at least we're getting rid of our overextension, right? All right, let's spawn the dudes. Goodbye, king. And uh, our, yep, our air takes over. He's really good. And um, we need to get our stability back up. Can't believe they spawned 36,000 guys. Whoa, we crushed them. Beautiful. They have been crushed. Alright, we lost our causes belly. Let's give him another loan. Here you go, sir. And then in the meantime, we'll try to get our relations up to uh, really, really good standings with Austria. So they'll want to join our war. It's not like they're allied with the Teutons or anything. You know, you would think that they wouldn't want to if they were allied with the Teutons, but they're not allied with the Teutons. They just, I don't know. And it's an opportunity for him to get prestige up. While he's at war, he's going to get all kinds of prestige by winning battles. So you would think he would want to do that, but apparently not. I don't know. Whatever. All right, so they took our loan. Seventeen twenty. Yeah, we have a lot of time on that. Sell Bosnia. Hum. Actually, I should get a claim on um, Travunia before I sell them. Hum. So let's toss Hungary back in here. Get a claim again. Just to make it cheap to take in the peace deal, that's all. We'll always have the religious causes belly, so that's not a problem. Ooh, lose stability or lose money? Ugh. Man, lots of stability drops lately. Wow. Still no level one guy. Wow. Rebels in Lithuania. I like that. We might even be able to sponsor some more Patriot Rebels in here, maybe. Pretenders, nationalists, pretender, nationalists. No. Oh, there's some Patriots over there, but those would be um, Polish. It's not the kind of Patriots I want. Damn. But if he has the right kind of Rebels, he might spit out Polotsk anyway, which would be kind of cool. Alright, tag up the military. Are we ahead of time? Nope, right on time for military. Excellent.
and Diplotech as well. Very good. Russia sitting on tech 17. We're four military techs ahead of Russia. Oh, that feels so good. So good. And Austria's prestige has taken a nosedive. <sighs> Austria, Austria, Austria. You're not going to keep that union if you screw this up. I need you to join my war. And then I don't care what happens to your union. Capiche? <laughs> I mean, we at least got him into an alliance. That's that's the, f the start of a beautiful friendship, right? But we gotta work on it from there. And I would like to take... Oh, I have a crappy air. Thank you for the crappy air. With an average claim? Why did we have an heir with an average claim if we have 100% legitimacy right now? That's not cool. Wow, this guy's living forever. He's 51. Alright, they cancelled the loan again. So we have one more year, July 1662. Oh, Austria is now at war with Russia. Okay, so even though we didn't... Okay, this, is, this, this works. Austria will not be in our war, but they will be in the war. They are in the war, it's just a different war. What happened? Lithuania declared war? Uh, no, the Teutonic Order declared war on Lithuania. Really? Very interesting. So the Teutonic Order is going to be fighting Austria and Denmark. Whereas, let's see, who's the leader? Oh, Lithuania's leader. Oh, that is not going to go well. You know why? Because Lithuania is going to get crushed. And Lithuania is the war leader. For some reason, Lithuania is the war leader. They're going to get crushed. Meaning the war will end before Denmark and Austria can even do a damn thing. That's not cool. But it, it might be an opportunity for Austria to get some prestige up if he can win some battles. Who knows? Lithuania might peace out before that even happens. You know, they have to walk up there. Alright, let's sell this ship to Bosnia. I don't want it. You got it. Bosnia. Ah, oh, that is too bad. That really is too bad. If Austria was at least the war leader, then that would have been a much different war, you know? Well, Burgundy, you want to join me? I mean, I assume you do. Um, yeah, Burgundy wants to join me. All right. So let's take a look at the numbers before we declare war here. Hold on. There you go. Russia has more troops than we do. They have more manpower than we do. But their technology is kind of crap. So I get the feeling, I got a feeling, that we can beat them in this war. So let's get to it, shall we? Schrauer. On the other hand, we could declare war on Hungary again and uh, take more land from them. Because I want to give some land to Ukraine. Oh, we can't because we're already annexing them. Yeah, I was going to say, these, these are both Ruthenian. So Ukraine would love them, but I can't really take them because we're already annexing Ukraine. All right, let's declare war on the Teutons then. Russia, bring it, bitch. Come on, Burgundy. Let's do this. Can I please call you to arms? I wish I could get Austria in here, but oh well. All right, so we're fighting Russia, Britain, Hungary, Livonian Order, and the Teutonic Order. Okay. Uh, four out of those five, I don't give a crap about. Oh, Hungary's in the war. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. So we are fighting Hungary, even though I didn't expect to. Uh, the big downside here is uh, the Teutonic Order is the war leader 
in the war against Austria, Lithuania, and Denmark. So Britain's not in that war. So Britain's navy is going to reign supreme. You know what we need to do? We need to get our navy over here and prevent them from getting into the Mediterranean. That's going to be important for us. I also want to get war taxes going. So I want trade ships at there. You know what? Just get me all the ships. All of the ships. Go there. Everyone go there. I'll get you guys an admiral once you're there. We're at war with Russia, folks. You knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. Everyone knew this was coming. Uh, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Get a couple mercs. And we'll use those to siege up some of these little provinces. This is our war. It's a big old war. I'm wondering if we can just get some of these guys out by paying them off. Like, I would like to get Britain out. I, don't, I really don't want to fight them at all. I would like them to not be in this war. But, um, Livonian Order, Teutons, Hungary, who cares about them? <laughs> Nothing against them or anything. I just don't think they're going to have any impact on this war whatsoever. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm cray cray. I don't know. Let's get some troops over this way. And, uh, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, come on up here, good sir. Uh, we'll get you somewhere over there. I want to group up some of my units if I can. I'll put you right behind them. Actually go to Zaporozzi. It's probably a better place to pounce from. And you guys can come to, I don't know, Azov? Total numbers are very much against us. Even with Burgundy on our side, the numbers are just not good. But I'm thinking we can peace out uh, Great Britain, maybe after a couple years. And Hungary, I don't know, maybe we can piece them out too. I don't know. We'll see. All right, Mercs are coming in. Very good. What kind of forts are these? Level 2, level 2, level 2. Excellent. Go here. Where else do I have units? Uh, 4K down here. That's fine. Uh... That's everything. All right. Colonial range. I don't really need that right now. Uh, boot him out. Save the points. I'll keep the morale guy. Uh, he's going to die soon, though. Poor guy. And I could turn my king into a general, but I'm not really enthused about getting this, um, this heir here. So I think I'm going to wait for the heir to come of age, and I'm going to turn the heir into a general, and just hope he dies really hope he dies. <laughs> uh. Alright, we're starting to get some dudes in the Gulf of Almeria. So let me hop down and get an admiral. Wow, a 1-0. Oh yeah, you're going to be amazing. Well, one fire is better than nothing, I guess. Oh, hello, Hungary. You're like, I'm hungry. I'm going to go kill you all now. Ha ha ha. And your best Mickey Mouse voice ever. Except you're hungry and you suck balls. All right, Britain, do you want peace? Just curious. No, you're not even close to peace. Do you like money? Uh, no, he doesn't even like money. All right, well, we'll keep the concede defeat on the table for him. If we need it, we have it. Um, we probably won't need it, but we'll keep it around. Hopefully our ships will be enough to keep him out. I don't know. That is a lot of large ships. And this war is based on battles. So we have to go beat some armies. You know what? Since that's the case, let me take this time here to go beat up Hungary. Because that'll be some battles that we can win. There's nothing wrong with beating up a weaker opponent, right? Nothing wrong. Discovering South America, that's nice. Very nice. What was that? 
something or other? Oh, we're sieging Edison. I'm like, what are we doing? Engaging Russia already? No, not yet. Yeah, not yet. Now, I don't know what Burgundy's going to do. I assume he's going to get some access. Yeah, he's getting some access. So he's going to try to walk. That's fine. I really wish Austria was in my war, but oh well. We will do our best, damn it. Let me get you another general. 3-3, uh, three, three, I'll take it. Go nuts. Um, get to Azov. I'm going to put you in Lower Dawn as bait. Bait, 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 Mr. Baitman. Give me your bait. Bait, 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 bait. Right? That's how it goes. That's the jingle. I know the jingle. I created the jingle. He is running, but we might be able to catch him. Maybe. We'll certainly try. Some early battles would be great for us. For our war score. Really? We're taking attrition up there? Wow. Uh... How do I forget everyone except that guy? Will that work? Yes. There you go. Oh, the limit's 59. Uh, go to Yiddish school then. Whatever. Just go somewhere. Get out of my way. Oh, he's just going to stand there for us? Oh, cool. Yeah, just stand there, dude. No, I want you to die. Don't run away. I need some battle victories. Come back. I just want to crush you. I just want to crush you. There we go. Oh god, he's going to put that get slaughtered. Yep. Well, that was good. 6.5% war score there. I'll take it. And, um, just go chill in Bessarabia. I'll keep you handy, because Hungary is going to be a pain in the dick, I think. And, um, I think I'm going to keep Hungary as, a, as an enemy. I'm going to get rid of Britain. I'm going to try to piece Britain out, but I'm going to keep Hungary in this war because I can just beat them up all day. And this war is technically sort of like a crusade. It's all based on battles. So as long as we win 80% of the battles and we get some good uh, crushings like that, we'll get a ton of war score just from battles. So we'll keep Hungary in the war just as so, sort of a punching bag. And I know that sounds cruel, but it's effective. So why not? So that's essentially our navy. We don't have any other large ships, really. Yeah, we're pretty crap. I mean, we have a ton of ships, but, you know. All right. So who's winning the other war? The one that the Teutons declared. Oh, Lithuania is winning the other war. Really? How is Lithuania winning that war? I don't even know. All right, um, now this is a bit of a worry. I don't want to leave these guys out here alone. How many? I can fit 45. Okay. Um, let's go. You can be my backup out there. That will work. And then if the Russians come over to Penza, we'll have some dudes to protect them, maybe. Oh, there's Hungary. Hungary's back. Hold on. Hungary is back. Kick some butt. Easy war score. Alright, so we have backup, just chillin'. Chillin', chillin', mindin' my business. You saw to looked around and I couldn't believe this. I swear, I stared, my niece, my witness. The brother had it going over something kinda... Mmm, wicked, wicked, had to kick it. I'm not shy, so I asked for the digits. I hope no, that don't make me see what I want. Oh, goodness, the 90s. You know what, why don't we call this an episode here? Thank you guys for joining me today. I have been Shen, you have been you. We have kicked off what may be the last war in this campaign. That all depends on how well we do. But uh, thanks for joining me today, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for War with Russia and Britain and Hungary and the Livonian Order and the Teutons. Bye-bye.